Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 20 box end of the year football mixer. It's a random division break. Um, so only eight spots, everyone gets a random division. No vet common ship in this, but a lot of great stuff. A lot of value in this break right here. And we got Nick Jaspie just over my shoulder helping us out. And he's gonna be on the top camera right there, ripping open the boxes so we can get through this mixer quickly and get to some other stuff tonight as well. Big thanks to this group. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And thanks to the, and congrats again to the people who won their spots. Thanks for taking a risk on those fillers. There are the divisions right there. Let's roll it and randomize it. Names and divisions. Six times. Four and a two. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And sixth and final time. Bennett down to Tim. That's right, Justin. We got to have that funk. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Four and a two, six times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we got the NFC East down the NFC North. All right, Bennett. With the spot that you won, NFC East, Kevin with the AFC South, Jared, NFC West, Allen, AFC East, Gail, NFC South, Bennett, AFC West, Nick with the AFC North, and Tim with the NFC North. Let's order these alphabetically by division. And we're going to keep the video running while Nick is popping open packs. But trades are allowed. Now, if you need help with divisions, if you need a refresher... Here's the link to the uh, ESPN.com NFL standings. Oh, broken up by division right there. I'm in the offs in the uh, waffle. Are you? Oh, I was trying to... Did you see my... Yes, I, look, I read it. I spent way too much time on that. <laughs> it, it, was a lot, it. it was a lot hard. No, I liked it too. I wanted to know. I just thought it was going to be a lot. I thought it was going to be like, oh, bang, 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 and yeah. then it'll be that. This guy wins, this guy loses, and I got it. But then I was like, wait a second. There's well, tiebreakers, and then... Do the Screaming Pelicans if, have a chance tonight? Like, legit, or not really? No, they don't. I mean, they got to score, like, 116 points oh, so over the next tiebreaker. Yeah. Yeah, so mathematically, yes. Yeah. But prob probability, no. Uh, NFC North is open for trade and offers, is Tim. I'm in the offs in both. I think I'm, I'm in the offs in both. I'm going to win both leagues, I think. Whoa. I think I'm going to go two for two in That's dubs. Crazy. Uh, NFC North, um, as a refresher, Green Bay Packers, Minnesota Vikings, Chicago Bears, Detroit Lions. I'd love to play um, Team No Touching. That's Jose's team, right? Yeah, to yeah me team. too. <laughs> he scored a lot of points this week, but yeah, it's He's, I think he's just gotten really lucky with He opponents. had like six wins in a row, but yeah. I think so, too. You think Steph Curry beats the record tonight? He needs six threes? Yeah. Probably. NBA Network. I think they just started. All right, trade window going once. Trade window going twice. TWC trade window closed. Nick Stover says hi. What's up, Nick? How's it going? Nick Stover got that Michael Jordan. The other night, Jason out, oh, of, out of a personal box, out of the goat, I think. Yeah. That was a group break one. Oh, they group break it? Yeah. Oh, 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 over the weekend. Oh, that's right. Jason was live on here. On YouTube. Nice. I think spots were like two hundred bucks. That's and it. We had fillers. Wow. The six box case so was pretty high risk, high reward. That was a nice one though, it's like a Letterman or. All right. Here's the final printout right here. Thanks again for spending a bit of your Monday night with us. You too, Nick. Happy Christmas, man. 
All right. I'm just going to start grabbing random boxes here. There's a box that looks like a mosaic. Here's an absolute. There is, this one is a, a Donruss football box. We've got a couple of prism boxes here. Oh, can I take this too? Elite? Yeah, you can take this optic too. Optic, kid reporter card. We should just start entering those. Going forward. I know, right? And then With just like a like panini hat. And just like raffle off the prizes? Like sell it to a rich parent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good luck, everybody. So no vet common ships or stuff like that aren't going to ship. Obviously, rookie cards will ship. All right? Red ice will ship. Inserts will ship. I think that makes sense. There's a green Jerry Judy for the AFC West, Bennett. And for the NFC West, the black and white Cam Akers. I think Rams really could have used him this season. All right, Carson Wentz green. That will ship all of these. Ices will ship as well. What's up, Bennett? Guessing another giant Mahomes is meant to be? That'd be nice. That'd be pretty awesome. Danny, what's up? Anyone ever have an eBay buyer have their feedback as private? I'd be interested if that's a, if it's a scammer or not. Hmm. I've seen that before. You've seen that before? Yeah. What is it? Why would people do that? I don't know why. I don't know why someone would do that. Sometimes they just... Um... Well, maybe they won't, don't want people to read their feedback. That and like identity issue, maybe. I've seen that like sometimes famous people have that. Famous thing. people could be a famous person. All right, that uh, rated rookie Saquon Barkley NFC East. That will be for Bennett. And Keith Olbermann. If you consider him famous, quasi famous. He's a celebrity. Hmm. Famous though. Crazy. Yeah. He's, uh, yeah, he's, he's famous. Especially for Sports Center. I mean, that's famous. That Dan but Patrick. Like, yeah. That Dan Patrick Keith Olbermann Sports Center was like legend, stuff of legends. Yeah. Here's our first autograph Jamie Newman. What has he done since, though? Not yet. He hasn't really succeeded outside of the sports world. Some stints on MSNBC, I guess. And then they brought him back, ESPN. And, and then they brought him back. And then and they brought him back again. All right, there's Micah Parsons to 75 for Dallas. That's C.D. Lamb also for Dallas. All NFC East, Bennett. And there's Sam Ellinger for the AFC South, Kevin. He's a huge collector though, right? Keith yeah, Olbermann. He is. Well, a redemption. Interesting. There's Nico Collins to 99. Deion Jackson to 10, Telen Wallace to 75. Yeah, so yeah, I don't think private feedback automatically means scammer. I think you should be okay. I mean, still converse with them and get a feel for them. I well, think that's a really, of really how important. Many they have? Or is it just a all right, redemption is Elijah Moore. Nice, for the Jets. IR. Oh, did he IR? Yeah. Ooh. I feel like he was starting to show some moments of... Had some, really had some well. moments, yeah. All right, New York Jets, uh, AFC East, Alan Murdoch with that one. The one to redeem and hang on to for next year. See how he does. All right, let's go to some absolute. I think Tom Brady is one of the few vet commons that, that do ship, in case you're wondering. 
Jamar Chase. Nick Jasky, do you have a uh, do you have a rookie of the year or a offensive rookie of the year prediction? Well, I think like Mac Jones is like minus five hundred. Oh, is he really? Yeah. Jamar Chase really hasn't done. I don't know what he did yesterday, but before that he was pretty cold. It's true. I think they started putting the their number one corners on him now. Yeah, and there's just there's just a lot of receivers there. Boyd, Higgins. Yeah. I think T. Higgins has actually benefited from Chase. Jamar Chase getting extra attention. And then, who are the other options? I mean, the other quarterbacks. Najee Harris? Najee Harris, actually, that's a good one. It's going to be Mac Jones, though. I think it's going to be Mac Jones, too. Even though he doesn't have crazy stats. He doesn't have to do much, but you know, he's got... They'll attribute QBs to wins, right? So. Oh, Chase had two touchdowns yesterday. Oh, did he? That's interesting, I guess. Yeah. All right, so nothing too crazy in that absolute. How about some Donner's football? It's press proof. Some Mahomes. This is 2017 Mahomes. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, Gridiron Kings insert. I think anything rookie Mahomes is probably a good thing. Especially if it grades out nicely. AFC West, Bennett. Got a Matthew Stafford, Elite Series. Tom Brady looks like that kind of got cut off at the top there. Our Joshua Dobbs. Deonta Foreman, Zay Jones. An elite series, Curtis Samuel, the Mac Collins. Juju Smith Schuster. Darbo, Carson Wentz, come on, more Mahomes, let's get a rated rookie Mahomes, there's a Matt Ryan, and David Nyoku, all right, at least we got that insert. Luminance. You can see the rest of the uh, stack right here while Nick returns that part. And then this mini helmet and then... Mini helmet and the full-size helmets. Perfect. We can play some quick rounds of, of Who Am I as well. Justin saying he almost had three touchdowns. Could have got three, but the first one was overturned. Sick catch, but ruled as a no catch. Here's speaking of Mac Jones. There he is, 75 out of 100. Stephon Diggs to 99. And C.D. Lamb, relic. For the NFC East, Bennett. Mac Jones, AFC East, Allen. I like that orange parallel in the orange in the background there. It looks sharp. There's Jamar Chase, Najee Harris. A couple of potential uh, Brady White, it's 299. A couple of potential def or offensive Roy's. And for the Blue Horseshoes, we got Tyler Vaughn's autograph, 252 out of 349, AFC South, Kevin. I really like the design of this. There's Najee Harris again, and Hunter Long to 349, the AFC East, Allen and the Dolphins. Uh, 
Najee Harris goes to the AFC North, of course. That'll be for Nick T. For Cousins, 299. And a nice Travis Etienne on card autograph. AFC South. Kevin with Jacksonville. This is just one to hold on to. We need him to come back healthy and strong next year. And he could be a pretty dynamic playmaker in the in the NFL, I hope. I wonder if uh, if Urban Meyer will be the coach next year for Jacksonville. Seems like a lot's happening out there. No, I did not. What happened? Brian Kelly had a video. There's a viral video with Brian Kelly. Five-star QB commit. Here's Dalvin Cook, full throttle, 349. He looked good in his return from injury. NFC North, Tim. Patrick Mahomes, the other sort of player that, that will get the, that will still ship, should ship. Like Tom Brady, those are the only like vet commons. No, Mike Tower thinks no more Suburban Meyer. I think he's done. I feel like there's like infighting between, like finger pointing between coaches, and I don't know if the players are too keen on him. They, they haven't been producing. So there, there seems to be a lot of issues there. And this Rondale Moore, by the way, is one out of five. I cut in there. There we go. These die cuts are somewhat hard to put into a penny sleeve, but once they're there, it's protected. Rondale Moore for the Cardinals, NFC West. Jarrett K out of fives and under. Train whistle, nice die cut. He might be one for the future. There's a lot of lot of receivers there, but he could be a pretty interesting one in the future. Jarrett, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Oops, sorry, I hit the mic. Apologize if you're especially if you're on headphones. Um, so Rebel looked at it and said that's pretty weird. I, I don't know what to think here. Oh, that Derrick Henry was number two ninety nine. Do I need do I need sound? I don't have sound on my computer. Is that Brian Kelly dan dancing? With his new recruit. It's very interesting. <laughs> and it's kind of weird. usual job here giving you a different angle of the cards over here oh there's a Garth Brooks song called Baton Rouge on the background I see just visually though yeah. that's, 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 that's pretty hilarious all right next box Looks like some certified from 2021. We got Jalen Darden, 399. 
seal of approval, Saquon Barkley. And Jeremiah Owusu Karamora to 50. Just kidding, Dobbins to 299. That'll be for the AFC North. That's going to go to Nick T. We got T. Higgins. Autograph. Nice. 11 out of 15. Piece of the game. Jersey and auto. AFC North, Nick T. Just talking about how T. Higgins getting some more looks now that more attention's on Jamar Chase. I feel like the Bengals, not, not too many steps away from, uh, from being really interesting, I think, as a team. Playoff contending team? There's DeAndre Swift to 299. And Pat Fryermuth, nice freshman fabric. Jersey and auto. 355 at a 499. Another one for the AFC North. Nick T. And another AFC North. That's Joe Mixon. 47 out of 99. Dual relic. Two color dual relic. Allen Robinson. And on to some Donners football. 2021, Keelan Cole, John Elway, Press Proof, Seth Williams. Najee Harris rated rookie, potential Roy. Jeremy Chin. To 116. Camara, DJ Shark. Do, 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 do. Devonta Smith, Trask. Got a Russell Wilson die cut to 75. Lamar Jackson and a Killen Hill green parallel. And that chrome design, I thought that might have been out of five, but but no, not numbered. It'll still ship. Got, our, uh, got a Trevor Lawrence Elite Series Rookie card. AFC South, Kevin. Justin Fields rated rookie green, chrome. Looked all right last night in a losing effort, but I think he's only a week or two removed from, from coming back from injury. So it's a good one for the NFC North, Tim. Right. 
Some Optic. Tristan Wirfs. Damon Arnett. Tua. Andy Golden. And a hollow Justin Herbert. Nice. Rated rookie hollow AFC West Bennett. It's not bad. It's spot that you won. AFC East, Allen will get the Elite Series rookies to a tongue by Loa. Dangerous. What's going on, William? How are you? Brandon Ayuk. NFC West, Jarrett K. Starting to make a bigger impact this season. We got some absolute from 2021. Some points. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. Winner take all on the points if there are any more. Andre Stevenson, absolute rookie materials. Dangerous saying it's about it's about to happen. Spencer Rattler going to the University of South Carolina. Is that is that just your hope or is that being reported? This is Rookies and Stars. Got Ty Montgomery. Piece of his jersey. Dress for success. It's 2015 Rookies and Stars. This is going to go to the AFC North. Tim. Uh-oh, more points here. So we'll add that to that points pile. There's Des Bryant to 49, 9 out of 49 die cut. That's uh, Kendall Wright to 299. Justin saying, but wasn't he just on Auburn's campus? It's to 50 for Josh Robinson and Ryan Tannehill, piece of his jersey. But Dangerous is saying it is being reported. He's going to be on the campus for three days, for a few days. So he's going to see if he likes South Carolina. Yeah, that's the crazy thing. With all the coach movement, that also means a lot of player movement too. The players won't be stuck with a coach that didn't recruit him. Which could be problematic. There's Ty Montgomery, another one. Tom Brady die cut for the AFC East. And we've got a rookies and stars relic. Two players, Joe Flacco, Brashad Perriman. AFC North, Nick T. Got a Philip Dorr set. Jersey and autograph, 78 out of 99 out of Rookies and Stars. AFC South, Kevin.
All right, next stack here, that's going to be some score football. 2021 score. There's an Ian Book rated rookie autograph, 94 out of 149 NFC South. Gale. wonder if they'll, uh, if the Saints had a nice win, but if, if injury maybe, or if any of the quarterbacks falter, if they're going to maybe try some Ian Book, might be good for the hobby. I think Flux Basketball is coming up this week, ladies and gentlemen. Keep an eye out for that. And there's Rondale Moore for Arizona. It'll be for uh, Arizona. Got a Mac Jones right here, potential rookie of the year, AFC East, Allen. We got our Darius Washington, score autograph. Got more Mac Jones, a lot of Mac Joneses. Which is good. I like that XR design. More Mac Jones, and we had a couple uh, Trevor Lawrences as well. Rough day at the office for him yesterday, but definitely some heavy future upside. Maybe, maybe new coach. What do we got? This is uh, this synchronizes to your music. Oh snap! This oh yeah, Marin was telling me about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I gotta play with that a little bit later. Yeah. Get some music synchronization. That'd be pretty awesome. Trey Lance, Flux Design, NFC West. Douglas, you're saying Trevor Lawrence will see success, but not with the Jags. Do you think they actually move Trevor Lawrence? Or do you think that, that they'll just run that rookie contract and then he'll he'll wanna he'll be looking elsewhere? He'll wanna be a free agent? All those go to the AFC South, Kevin. Whoop, fill your autograph. Oh no, Douglas, you're saying that they're, they're gonna straight up ruin Trevor Lawrence. I hope not. That would be hashtag not good for the hobby. I want things that are hashtag good for the hobby. So Douglas, you're thinking Trevor Lawrence special in college, but not in the pros. Or are you talking about Mac Jones? Yeah, it's it's tough figuring out which which QBs are actually NFL ready and which are not. All right, and a Hunter Henry autograph out of uh, Prism Retail, Prism Choice, Prism Tmall. This is AFC West Bennett. We got a CD Lamb rookie silver for the NFC East. That's Bennett as well. It's Ben DiNucci, 
Degura, I think, did, didn't he make some plays last night? All right, well, that's it for the cards. Now for the helmets. So put your thinking caps on. We can play some quick rounds of Who Am I? Then we'll do the randomizer, and then I'll do a, a quick recap of those hits, which I'll keep, I'll keep that off to my left right here. All right, so here's a mini helmet. If we happen to pull like that, right? There's no checklist for these TriStar mini helmet breaks, but if we pull like a college helmet or obviously that'll go to the Jags, but for something like that Joe Montana, that'll go to the team he played for the longest, right? Which would be the Niners. Something like this, it's sort of date specific, right? So that'll go to I'll go to the Bears. Um, I think I think that's pretty much it. I think it should be pretty self-explanatory. Go by our, it's in our frequently asked questions or it's on our no checklist rules. There's no checklist, non-pro things. We'll go to the team they played for the longest, if they're retired or the team they're currently on if they're active. Let me peek in here, who do we got? Oh yeah, TriStar gives me game show cards. All right, who am I? Pro helmet, retired. I'm a seven-time Pro Bowl selectee, five-time first team all pro, part of the 1970s all-decade team. My number's retired by this team. I'm part of this team's ring of fame and part of the Gator football ring of honor. Did I say NFL 1970s all-decade team, by the way? And a, a college football Hall of Famer in the early 90s and a pro football Hall of Famer in the early 2000s. Let me get you some more information out of here. Still with us, 71 years old, from Jacksonville, Florida, went to Florida, was a first round pick, 20th overall in the early 70s, played for one team my entire career, a two-time NFL sacks leader at one point, Played 202 games, 151 and a half QB sacks, 10 fumbles recovered. Defensive end for the uh, for the Rams. Can you, anyone guess old school Ram defensive ends? So that'll go to the uh, NFC West. I'll go to Jarrett. There you go, Bennett. Yep, Jack Youngblood. Around around Los Angeles, you'll every once in a while you'll still see people rocking uh, Youngblood jerseys around here, right? So he he was a long time member from seventy one to eighty four, L.A. Rams. Nice. So that's for you, Jarrett K. Thank you. case of full-size helmets. Should be four of them. And same deal with the uh, with the football helmets. The no checklist rule that we talked about a moment ago. I don't think Leaf gives us those game show cards. Okay. 
Retired football player. Um, currently 55 years old. Was 6'2", 207. Wide receiver. From, uh, where was I born? Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and went to Miami. 11th overall pick in the late 80s. Played for one team my entire career. Three-time Super Bowl champion. Five-time Pro Bowler. An NFL receiving yards leader. Part of the 90s all-decade team. A national champion in 87. Career 750 receptions for over for almost 12,000 yards and 65 receiving touchdowns. Uh, and a Pro Football Hall of Famer. Not Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice didn't go to Miami. Not Zach Thomas. This is a wide receiver, Tyler. Wide receiver, not a linebacker. This will uh, we'll go to Bennett. Any guesses? Yep, Tim's got it. Michael Irvin. Dallas Cowboys. NFC East. Bennett Page with that one. So you got the nice uh, big star right there. There's his autograph up there. Got the Cowboys badge up front. You've got the uh, Beckett sticker and card right there as well. Nice. There you go, Bennett. <laughs> Danny's saying, boy, shots fired. I wonder how good he would have been with a good QB. It's not his game use helmet, Mike Tower. I think his game use helmet may have may have had some compartments in there. I guess just in the mouth, yeah, it's probably easier. All right, I am an active wide receiver from Redwood City, California. Went to Palo Alto High School and then went to Fresno State. Played for one team my entire career, a second round pick, a first team All-Pro, a four-time Pro Bowler, an NFL receiving touchdowns leader last year in 2020. Total of 636 receptions, 7,772 yards, 69 touchdowns as of week 14, 2021. Who am I?
Not Brown. I don't think he went to Fresno State. Travis Kelsey also did not go to Fresno State. He's a wide receiver as well, not a tight end. Not A.J. Green, Douglas, but this is a green team. This does go to a green team. In fact, he just played last night, and he had 10 catches for 121 yards and two touchdowns. All off of 13 targets. Randall Cobb wishes he has those numbers. Alan Lazard wishes he has those numbers. That's right, Jack B's got it. Devontae Adams. 10 receptions and 121 yards, two touchdowns. Pretty good. What what is his fate? If uh, Aaron Rodgers decides to leave Green Bay, does he does he want to go elsewhere? I don't know. There's been some some chit chat about that. That's a cool looking helmet right there. Is it a retro style? It's got got that sort of shimmer underneath the surface. Sort of shaped like a retro helmet. That's pretty cool. There's some extra padding in here in the Beckett card that we'll send out to Tim with the NFC North. Two more to go. Douglas saying he follows Rodgers to the Bears. You think Rodgers goes to the Bears? That would be crazy. What are they doing? What, they trade Justin Fields? I think Aaron Rodgers will probably be a free agent, right? After this season? I think that's how his contract structure is. Like he can opt out, basically. That would be wild. like Green Bay fans would, would would flip out. All right, who am I? I'm an active running back in the NFL. From Miami, Florida, 5'9", 212. Went to college at Miami, drafted in 2005 and still playing. Third round pick, played for one, two, three, four, five teams my entire career. Oh, actually, I don't think I'm with a team now, but this is, this is his pro helmet right here. Um, Five-time pro bowler, part of the 2010s all-decade team, and a national champion. Uh, NFL records, got two of them. Most games played by a running back, 241. And first player in NFL history with 12 consecutive 1,200-yard seasons from a scrimmage. I have a career 16,000 yards, 81 rushing touchdowns, 484 receptions for 3,985 receiving yards, eight receiving touchdowns, and one fumble return for a touchdown? When did that happen? He may have an amateur helmet. He may have a college helmet in here, Mike Tower, but this is not. This is his pro helmet. Could be a Florida helmet or Miami helmet in here somewhere. Yes, Mark's got it. Frank Gore. And it's in his Niners helmet. 
So that goes to the NFC West, Jarrett K. With another one. We got the uh, Beckett authentication card right there. He's got a pretty cool autograph. There's his auto. There's the Beckett sticker right back there as well. It's a pretty cool looking helmet. Nice, so Jarrett with another one for the a NFC West. Last one coming up. Final helmet. Good luck, everybody. And I'll do a quick randomizer for the points right after this. And then um, and we'll do a quick recap, too. A retired running back stood at 6'1", 227, and was a number one overall pick. Played for one team my entire career. Just one Pro Bowl. Had a career 2,782 rushing yards and 16 rushing touchdowns. And was a Heisman Trophy winner too. Who am I? Not Eddie George. I think Curtis Martin had a little more than 2,782 career rushing yards. Eddie George had more than that, too. Now you're thinking, why would someone who only has 16 rushing touchdowns and 2,782 rushing yards, why would he be in this? There you go. Jack B's got it. Bo Jackson. Bo Jack. That's why he's in here. Because he's Bo Jackson. Clear this out of the way here. For the Raiders. There's the Beckett card right there. There's the sticker. And here is nice Raiders helmet. Great logo. Great autograph right on top. Nice. AFC West. That'll be for Bennett Page with the spot that he won. More of a modern more of a modern looking helmet here. Should have a Tech Mobile helmet. I don't they still use silver and black? I guess they just wouldn't have the logo on there. All right, congrats, Bennett. Thank you.
Thanks everyone for getting in. All right, appreciate that. Let's see who gets these points and then we'll uh, do a quick recap and close the books on this break. Let's flip back to this screen here to gather everybody's names. New dice, new list. Let's roll it, randomize it. One and a three, four times. Name on top after four. One, two, three, and four. So after four times, Bennett again with the points. 150 plus 400, that's a good chunk of points right there. And here is a quick recap. Thanks everyone for joining the break. Really appreciate it. A lot of Trevor Lawrence's, Fields, Mac Jones, Zach Wilson's, Ian Book, some old school players here. New school players that Justin Herbert Hollow was pretty nice. Pat Fryermuth, T. Higgins. One out of five, Rondale Moore, Etienne. Some orange Mac Jones. That's that's a rookie year, Patrick Mahomes. Elijah Moore for the Jets, and we start off with Jamie Newman. Thanks, everybody, for watching and for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.